could that same thing happen with Vita Coco? Very possible. So, you know, if we were to go ahead and take a look, one of my favorite places to go take a look and see what's the interest in something, what's going on when something happens with the stock. If I want to know what's going on with that stock, I go to the Twitter. So we got the Twitter, and I'll just type in Coco. And it'll probably give me the Disney movie. Yeah, we might have to do hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag. There we go. The dollar sign Coco. So we got the pricing. Yeah, see, what happens is there's a lot of uh there's a lot of stuff that's uh mixed up with Coco, people named Coco Chanel, everything like that. You're not gonna have that problem with SDIG. So you do have a lot more noise in the Coco space. So uh 15 second delayed press release. Vita Coco announces the price. So I mean, just to show you, we've already seen this in 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 shortened form. But they offered certain selling stock with a price of fifteen dollars per share. So we've got, and they can they can make additional shares of common stock at that price uh, from the underwriter side. So from the people who are issuing the stocks side. Uh, but let's just see if there's a general interest here. There, there is, there seems to be a general interest, but it's kind of mixed with a lot of other Coco stuff. You know, Coco's world, sexy woman, absolutely stunning. Do you like Coco? Yes, I do like Coco. Uh, on on Twitter, my handle is Trader Dicks. Uh, so if you do want to follow on Twitter, finalized IPO price. You see, there there's no negative sentiment. <laughs> I want to invest in Vita Coco just because of the jar of pee a while back. Hands down, one of the best. Oh, I Twitter exchanges. Oh God, we need to see this Coco jar of pee. I I, I don't really know what we're looking for. Uh, no. Oh God. Oh God, what is this? This is amazing. Hold on. <laughs> I'm dying here. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. I'm sorry for the language, but this is too great. Popular opinion, coconut water is effing disgusting. And I will tell you, uh, someone asked, I did it in a later stream, but someone asked, hey, Rich, can you can you drink the Vita Coco? So I got some Vita Coco and I actually drank it. But this Twitter exchange, I'm so glad we went to Twitter for this. Popular opinion, coconut water is effing disgusting. Unpopular opinion, there's such a thing as too many eggs. Uh, this guy on Huffington Post even wrote about how disgusting you are. Oh God, is this the same guy? Let's see. Coconut water. Coconut water is disgusting. It did not taste like coconut water. It tasted like someone took a salt, dirt, and gross mixed water uh, bath and mixed water with it. I have not seen this till right now. I'm literally watching this right now. I do not like coconut water. I absolutely hate it. He has the same feelings I had. Uh, I cannot see the fascination with coconut water. I cannot see so someone finds it delicious. Yet millions do. That's all that matters in the end of the time. Uh, yet millions do. So I'll be an outcast if I don't enjoy coconut water. I'm okay with that. So this was this was just... Was this directed at Vita Coco? No, but I mean, remember, if you remember the S1 review, they are... Vita Coco is coconut water. So uh, I guess it was directed at Vita Coco, whether it wants to be or not. But, oh, God. So I even wrote about, and Vita Coco, don't come at me with your S is, is pressed or comes from the finest baby coconuts. Your S is nasty like all coconut water. I go, then you go, then they go, this is the actual corporate account of Vita Coco. This is like expert level trolling. I love it so much. Uh, I don't know. I know not everyone likes coconut water, but I'm just here hoping to make y'all... Oh, oh, Vita Coco, you're going to get a follow. 
Save that nasty shit for someone else. I'd rather drink your social media person's piss than coconut water. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, God. That's a good laugh. Oh, I would have put so much more money into it. <laughs> Sorry. This is some of the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> shares this is just <laughs> this is just killing me oh the yellow shoes make the photo okay we got to go off with this because i'm just oh i haven't had a good laugh like that in a long while this guy had said their coconut water tasted like this and then he gave the social media intern the uh <sighs> That's good. And literally, that that's gold. And look how many retweets they got. They got 33,000 likes. That's engagement. That's engagement. I give it to, you know, I don't know if that's still the social media girl, but I give it to that social media girl. That's some that's some great engagement right there uh, that we just found out about together live. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I am looking forward to Vita Coco's IPO today. I hope you all are, too, because it looks like a real fun IPO uh, with a company that does this and the financials look solid, 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 solid. It's growing. It's got Dr. Pepper Curry behind it. Uh, I don't know what it's going to pop to or uh, I'll put it like this. I'll give you I'll give you my logic. If Via Coco drops below the IPO price after looking at that picture, which if you're coming in right now, you're going what the heck is going on right here? After looking at that picture, I'm going to buy more shares uh, if it drops. If it doesn't drop, hey, I'll stick with the shares I have. But if it drops, I'm buying more shares. Why? Because that's, that's a funny burn right there.